Howdy folks, T-Rev here, revving it up, fired up and excited. Blessings to you. Had a fantastic day. Celebrated my grandma's 100th birthday today. Had a blowout celebration and that's awesome. Lots of people came from all over. And so happy birthday, grandma. Tomorrow is the actual day. <clears throat> which she will be at 100 years old, quite an accomplishment in life and living. So I have a little topic for us today, and that is, um, it says in Hebrews 8, at the end of Hebrews 8, that Jesus, uh, with his new covenant that he's made with us, has actually made the old covenant obsolete. There's another scripture that says, filling full the law. Jesus filled full, uh, fulfilled, filled full the law. <clears throat> so what does all that mean? It means if you're out there in an effort to earn God's grace, if you're out there in an effort to earn God's love, if you are living underneath the old covenant, which would be underneath the law, underneath the rules, trying to follow rules, trying to um, uh, have God smile on you because you follow rules, you're missing the whole point of what Jesus has done by coming here and, and being resurrected. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't do right things and have righteousness and, and follow uh, Jesus' right ways because of what he did. But you're not going to earn those things by following law because Jesus fulfilled all of that law, making that uh, old deal, that old covenant obsolete, initiating a new covenant in him, which is building relationship with him. And then the, uh, the first commandment is to love God love your neighbor, and love yourself. And if you're active in love, loving God, loving your neighbor, and loving yourself, then you are not going to be breaking any laws at all anyway. And so he encourages us to focus on love. Love one another, love God, and love yourself. The old covenant is obsolete. Don't try to earn by following rules but rather operate out of growing in relationship with him in love. God bless.